Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here, and this is a kind of rush video because I wanted to address this post. It's asking for someone to explain, without the necessary technical mumbo jumbo, what all the VAPI hysterics are all about. What has happened, what effects, and how. And so, Global Assistance, uh, it's pretty apt that you use the word hysterics because these posts on R Linux and R Fedora. Uh, have definitely caused some hysterics, and that's probably because the the titles are not descriptive enough, and it makes it sound like Fedora is losing all hardware video decoding support. Uh, a more accurate title would be Fedora 37 drops VA API accelerated hardware video decoding support for H.264 and H.265 for AMD GPUs. And so Intel users will be fine, uh, NVIDIA users will be fine as long as they're using the proprietary driver. And even AMD users, unless they're producing or consuming H.264 content, which immediately is kind of an L because that's what a lot of modern video creation and like local uh, video file like consumption is based off of like uh, the video files like you record on your phone will probably be encoded in H.264. I'm recording this video in OBS using H.264. Um, uh, if I wanted to illegally download a movie from the internet, it'll probably be in H.264 or the other um, restricted codec that's being removed, which is H.265. So there, there is some loss in functionality, but this title really overblows it and everybody is freaking out in the comments, um, especially because they're trying to piece together like what this actually means for people. So yeah, for people with AMD only hardware, they're gonna lose access to hardware accelerated H.264 and H.265. And here's the commit. And when you're building Mesa, you remove the support for H.264 and H.265 encoding and decoding. Okay, so the question of what has happened, we got that. Uh, AMD users, or AMD only users really, um, are losing access to hardware accelerated H.264 and H.265. What it affects, people who have AMD only systems or AMD GPU only systems. Now, what does that look like really? So if you have an AMD laptop, without an NVIDIA dedicated GPU, that'll affect you. If you have an AMD CPU and an AMD GPU, that'll affect you. Uh, if you have an Intel CPU without a GPU and then an, an AMD GPU, that'll affect you. Or if you have an, if the only GPU on your system is AMD, you're screwed. That, that's a better way of putting it. Um, uh, I'll probably edit that part out. Yeah, cool. And how, cool. So basically on all modern GPUs, there's dedicated um, accelerators for uh, encoding and decoding video. So for example, for NVIDIA, we have um, NVDEC, which is decoder, and NVENC, which is encoder, right? And basically this is um, silicon that's been designed to handle different codecs. So H.264, H.265, VP9, uh, MPEG-2, as well as different resolutions, different color spaces, uh, different bit formats for the actual um, video files. Cool. So we have we have hardware that supports encoding and decoding video in all these formats, right? But we need a driver to talk between the operating system and this hardware to tell it what to do, right? Because we got to feed these encoders and decoders, and we got to get the video out of the encoders and decoders. So. Uh, this arch wiki page is going to be in the description gives a really good overview of what this looks like. And basically the idea is that, um, here, so NVIDIA GPU users, if you're using the official NVIDIA drivers, you're all set by, um, the, the NVIDIA official drivers. You'll have support for, um, NV encoder and NV decoder, basically this column and this column here. And if you use the uh, VAPI uh, driver from Elfardo, it's a wrapper around NV decoder 
uh, that supports VAPI, the API itself. Um, so you'll basically get support for this column as well if you use that wrapper if you're on MGA hardware. So that's, that's pretty that's pretty solid support, right? You have all this application, you have all this application, and you have all this application if you're using NVIDIA with the official drivers. If you're on Intel hardware, uh, even though it uses the uh, most setting drivers and the Mesa driver stack in most modern distros for, uh, for Intel GPUs, right? That's only used for stuff that's like GPU, GPU-ish, right? So like OpenGL for Vulkan, um, for for like the kernel mode setting part, right? Like when you boot before you even like launch um, the desktop and stuff like that. But Intel supports um, their own driver for the uh, quick sync or the video acceleration part of the GPU. And this is Intel Media Driver and it's actually installed by default. Um, and this part here, when you install RPM Fusion, it'll actually install um, this package here, Intel Media Driver. And so Intel users, right? They're, 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 they're these two columns and they're supported by these two drivers. So in, the, in this column, they're all set. In this column, they're all set. <clears throat> now the trouble happens when you look at um, AMD's column and that's the, the Mesa driver part, right? We're removing this, these codec support from, from Mesa, right? So AMD uses the Mesa driver to also drive their AMF, um, and you can read about it here, right? Um, they use the Mesa drivers to drive their um, hardware acceleration for encoding and decoding videos. And so um, this column here, so, so the AMD GPU users and the people using Nouveau, um, the open source driver for NVIDIA GPUs, they're the ones in trouble. So they suddenly, they'll see, still be able to use VAPI for decoding and encoding um, in all these applications, but they'll no longer have access to, um, to uh, the VAPI accelerated versions of H.264 and H.265. And so basically, uh, let's load up shortcut here. Okay, so I opened up Shotcut, and I chose Shotcut uh, as an example because you'll really get to see the full uh, range of codecs of like what's installed on uh, FFmpeg, which is the library that backs stuff like uh, playing videos in Firefox or uh, recording videos like uh, using OBS Studio or editing and exporting videos using a video editor like Shotcut or uh, Kden Live. So in Shotcut, under Codex, you're able to choose, uh, where is it? Yes, here. So you're able to use the, the software version of H.264 called libh264, and the software version of H.265, um, libx265. Uh, but you're also able to use the VAPI versions of um, these encoders. So this one's called H.264 VAPI, and uh, HEVC, which is also um, H265. Um, and so basically, when we configure, we can see my NVIDIA GPU showing up as an available encoder, as well as my AMD GPU uh, being uh, shown up as an available encoder. So this change will basically remove the AMD GPU as an option uh, for encoding this video. And uh, we can go here uh, to where this video file is being created. Uh, and if we go under properties, we can actually see that this video is recorded in H.265, sorry, in H.264. So if I opened up this video in MPV, it would use that software uh, decoder, the libh264 and using my CPU cycle and using more power to play back this video instead of using my GPU to decode this video and play it back. So that's what it'll look like in practical terms. If you're exporting videos or recording videos and coding, uh, you'll be forced to use software unless you have an NVIDIA GPU or an Intel GPU. And if you're playing back these, these codecs, uh, H.264 and H.265, uh, then you'll also be forced to use your CPU uh, to play back those video files unless you have um, an Intel GPU or an NVIDIA GPU. 
So H.264, H.265, encoding and decoding, you're no longer able to use your AMD GPU. That's all that's happening. Uh, hopefully this explanation was good. There's, there's so much stuff being thrown around of what's happening. Um, and hell, even, even I was in on making this more complicated than it needed to be, but a lot of it was in the fact that most people don't actually click these links um, and understand what's going on. And I didn't initially, when I was on my phone, looking at this news, click the link and understand what's going on. I think I overestimated everybody's ability to, to do research and post the right stuff on Lix forums. But hopefully that resolves the hysterias. Hopefully you learn something new about modern GPUs and their dedicated hardware for encoding and decoding video. And yeah, hopefully that helped explain things to you. Um, I can't get into the whole legal part of why um, we're forced to remove the H.264 and H.265 codecs. Um, I'll let a lawyer or someone more legal and less technical than me explain that. But yeah, hopefully you learned something new in this video and hopefully you enjoyed it. See you guys later. Pseudo Pluto out.